reassess that. So I'm uh, eager to call, talk to some of my colleagues. See. Senator, can I ask you about the report that the Democrats yeah. on the Foreign Relations Committee put out laying out Russia's interference in elections, not just in the U.S., but amongst our allies? Have you had a chance to look that over I yet? I haven't. But you, I, I, accept, I accept the fact that Russia uh, did try to meddle in our elections. I mean, that's, that's a given. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're saying the administration broadly needs to do more. I mean, we've got primaries coming up in March. This, this, they say this is a call to action to do more uh, to protect uh, our elections. I am concerned that the White House has not held a cabinet level meeting on this issue at all, and the president continues to describe it uh, as a hoax. Um, and so I, I, yeah, I'm concerned about that as well. Yeah. And I know you were in a meeting last night, even after the White House meeting, about right. DACA and the and immigration fixes going forward. Can you apprise us of the status well, of that? We are. The, this little bipartisan group uh, is, is working we're very close. Um, to having uh, something that we can uh, put out, and uh, it's it's really the only game in town in terms of uh, bipartisan solution. We're going to have to get 60 votes, and uh, I think the White House meeting was helpful in establishing parameters to where we need to be. So it was helpful for that, and helpful two two things: uh, helpful on parameters, certainly, and the recognition that we're not going to do comprehensive. This is a smaller fix, and second, the president uh, finally. Uh, putting some flesh on the bones in terms of what the wall means, mm -hmm. uh, that it's not a 2,000-mile uh, you know, structure, physical structure, and two, it's more a fence than a wall. Yeah. You talked about six good. Will that court ruling affect the negotiations um, with DACA? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. We, we still have a deadline, and I'm convinced that uh, at some point the, uh, the Supreme Court, if nobody else will rule, hey, this is... This is finished. We gotta, we gotta fix it. You so talk about. I, I think this may. I hope it doesn't give anybody uh, false comfort that we have more time now. Let me to cut you off. You talk about 60 votes, but are you more concerned about this any kind of deal getting through the House, where it seems like people have been more willing to draw a hard line on any kind of deal? Well, I just know that we can't wait for the House to actually draft a bill and move it. Mm -hmm. That process. Uh, it's got to start in the Senate, and uh, we'll see where it goes in the House. Um, I'm having discussions with my House colleagues to see where they are. Um, but uh, they know that we've got a deadline. We've got to get this done. La last question. Can I ask you about Joe Arpaio uh, potentially running for your seat now? I <laughs> always had. Write about it fast because it won't last long. Um, <laughs> I, there, there has rarely been an election cycle since the early 90s when Joe Arpaio hasn't said, oh, I'm running statewide. Uh, my numbers are better than anybody. And uh, he just never seems to do it. Now he's got more time on his hands, and uh, he may stick in longer, but I don't think he's in it for the long run. It's Thank not. It's, let's put it this way.